Good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500 for Monday, November the 21st, 2022. I don't have much to be adding to current analysis or projections. The markets were slow today as anticipated, and I still do not expect much for the balance of the pre-holiday trade, so that would be tomorrow and Wednesday. Again, the bulk or all of the economic data that will be released this week comes on Wednesday. And just to do a quick review, those will be durable goods, jobless claims, PMI composite flash, new home sales, and consumer sentiment. Durable goods and jobless claims come at 8.30 Eastern, PMI composite flash at 9.45 Eastern, and new home sales at 10 a.m. along with consumer sentiment. So if we're going to be expecting a reaction that will produce a larger move than what we've seen thus far, I am basically saying that it's likely going to happen on Wednesday. Now, we continue to move lower within the context of the analysis that I presented uh, on yesterday's update, and that being that we have completed, so we remain within, and let me just flip out to that daily chart so I can just review it real quick. We remain within an intermediate wave two corrective or a counter trend rally. So it's correcting and it's correcting up. And <clears throat> thus far, we have completed minor degree waves A, B, and C. But that and and that alone could have completed the entire intermediate wave two. Unfortunately, what we're witnessing is that the markets are are not giving what I would consider the correct response to completing an intermediate wave two, which would be that we're dropping in an intermediate third wave down. And as I discussed last night, third waves are most often the longest and the strongest out of a uh, impulse waves of one, three, and five. And so I would have anticipated a very quick break below these 50s, below the 20, as we are heading lower. Now, we're eventually going to get that, in my opinion, but right now, like the C keeps moving itself around because of the charts. What I would be looking for now is a completion. So again, as I counted out, we have a minute wave A, minute wave B, and then we're still looking for that minute C wave to complete. And that will put in on a minor degree an X wave. The X wave is the intervening wave between what I'm now viewing as the, a strong possibility of being a double ABC corrective pattern to fill the intermediate wave two. So again, the first ABC done, we're in the intervening ABC down, which will be an X wave. And then we will do a second ABC. So that'll be up with a B wave down and a C wave up. So wherever we end up here, and I believe that we just actually need to make, and this still now looks pretty good, one, two, three, got a little four, going to come in, hopefully do a five, get itself below uh, 11,528. And again, don't really look for much. Again, by looking at what we have done already, we don't need more, just a little bit of a four and then a five, and we may get that overnight. So our next pattern may begin before we get logged in and get ready to trade tomorrow morning. And if that's the case, and you can put a C wave there, and I can count a clean five down, then yes, I would be looking for the market to rally and fairly quickly break itself back above that 11,700 level to give us indication that the, this intervening X wave is done. And then we're starting again on an A wave, which we'll have to wait and see. But right now, I'd be looking for the A wave, the B wave, and the C all to kind of start, for the A and the B anyway, to form three waves each. So if we get a three wave up, then we get a three wave down, then A and the B, and then we get a five wave C. We continue to feel, or I continue to feel, that yes, we're likely going to end up above 12,118 or 119, 120, right in that area, which is where we had some resistance. 
Our next resistance is basically, I think, 12,200. And what I can do, and I'll put that on real quick so that we can see it, uh, just to do as a review, we're going to put on the retracements for wave two. And wave two most often comes to between 50% and 62%. The 50% we reached uh, got above 12,113, I'll call it. And it got up to almost 12,119. So next up after that will be 12,500 in that area. 496, 497 is the exact level where the Fibonacci comes in. Right above all of that, we have at 12,650, we have the uh, 200 period SMA. And then right above it at 12,714, we have the 200 EMA. And then additional Fibonacci resistance at 12,780. Now, between the A and the C wave, which will both be in an upward drive, we cannot rule out that we'll eventually end up here. And I do suspect that this whole move, as it drags on, will take us into December. And it isn't all that much of a stretch, considering that December 1st is next Thursday, so it's a week from Thanksgiving. Uh, and then we don't have any basically triggers that can trigger a large move in either direction. We don't see that coming until at least the Fed. Now, we're going to get some supportive evidence of what inflation is doing and what people may or may not expect from the Fed on their December meeting, which again begins on the 13th. We get the press conference and the results on the 14th. So it'll be the same deal, 2, 2 p.m. Eastern on the 14th. We will find out what it's, what's going on, what the Fed's thinking, what they're going to do. Uh, we will know. Uh, right now, I'm not hearing as much talk, but it does seem that they're still out there with that the Fed should pivot. Now, we're be still hearing from the governors that are out uh, stumping for the Fed, Federal Reserve, uh, basically saying, some saying one actually is only that I've seen uh, saying that, yeah, they, they see the, the possibility that we only uh, raise at 50 basis points and not 75, which is the expected. Then we have others who are saying, well, we're really not getting that strong of a handle on this inflation, and we probably should raise more than 75 basis points. So then that kind of uh, basically squashed the conversation about uh, the Fed doing a pivot, but it hasn't really stopped uh, the buying and the sense of, you know, still wanting to move the market higher. Not really happening today, but we were looking for this corrective move down. It's not dropping severely. In fact, it, it barely got down more than 100 points, and the Dow took most of the day to only be down 45. <clears throat> so things remain in fairly good territory in terms of finishing this X wave and then putting in a second ABC. So the X wave is on a minor degree, but the internals are sub, or excuse me, the internals are minute waves. So they're smaller. And again, this is for the larger ABC that we got. And for the these resistance levels are for the intermediate wave too. So they still apply uh, to, even though the market has more to go, they still apply. And I'm still going to be looking for them to come into play. So, But I'm now looking for, once we get it back above, so about 12,025 all the way up to 12,780 to contain and complete this intermediate wave two. Now, let me bring this back down to the hourly chart. What we can also do is we want to now take a look at what do we believe can this C wave do? And now I'm going to switch back over and go whoop, right there to the extensions. We're going to connect the A to the B because we're looking for this completion of a C wave. And what do we got? We continue to have exactly what we left off. They got pretty close to that 50% level at 11,547. The low today was uh, 555, I believe, right there. 
53. And we, I would like to see it below 11,528. And as I've been talking about, it doesn't have to be all the way down to that 618, which is 11,478. That would make it very clean if it did, but anywhere in between. And now I really will say anywhere in between because it's pretty apparent that we're getting, there's the A, there's the B of the X wave. And we have one, two, three, a four in progress now, maybe complete, I don't know. And then we're going to pull in and do, in fact, it might be right there unless it's A, B, and we get a little C wave coming in a little bit later. And then <clears throat> we're going to drop back down. So once we get below there, I basically can count five down for the C wave. So right now, one, two, three, where the four is complete, I got a little bit more to be determined. Then we get a drop down, and that'll put us, produce a five. And once we get below 11,528, then we're in completion territory. Can it drop and go to 11,478? Yes, absolutely it can. Um, and, and we'd still consider it an X wave. In fact, if it drops all the way down to 100%, where C equals A, and that's 11,252, it's still going to be considered an X wave, and it still would be in line. It's just a very extended fifth wave. So that's that for that one. We have our moving averages now where we are now trading below. The 20s beginning to start to break below the 200s. That will add actually a little bit of downside pressure on the market. 50s are turning lower. I don't suspect that the 50s or the 20s get real far simply because we're getting close to the completion point for this uh, X wave. <clears throat> Possibly if it got down to here, then we might see the 50s beginning to put a little pressure on that uh, 200 period on the hourly chart. Um, as far as squeeze, we don't really have any. Uh, there were a couple of decent moves today. Uh, one pretty much right at the 10 o'clock hour for, for that hour. It was pretty much selling it off. And that was where you could make your money. Now, again, within that hour, if we break this down and we start looking at, say, for example, a five-minute chart, and we break this all down and go into that seven o'clock, it kind of down, up, then down. So it was nice, you know, 15 minutes. Then we had a little bit, five minute, and then we had it, you know, continuing to move lower. So it was not bad. It just wasn't real fast. But you could get in and you could just hold and go. But in between these, even on a five minute chart, there were moments where it's like, nope, 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 bye, bye, bye. Nope, 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 down, down, down. So it, it wasn't as easy as it would appear if you're just looking at the five-minute chart. Okay, so that's it for the NASDAQ right now. No need to drag it on. Let's go over and take a look at the S&P, which is exactly doing the same thing. Very much so. Here's the ABC. Start again on that daily real quick. <clears throat> we have the intermediate... <clears throat> excuse me, intermediate degree wave one complete. That's in. We're still counting out the intermediate second wave, which we have the first ABC of minor degree. I did not put that two there simply because this should be falling off the cliff. And it's not. It's taking its time. It's settling in. It's just trading very tightly. Uh, drop down. Then that leaves us in the position where I believe that we are have completed the first ABC, and now we're putting in the next wave. And again, as I, I counted out yesterday, we have A, B, A, B, C for uh, A, B, C, X, A, B, C for a double A, B, C to form that minute wave A. So these are sub-minute, sub-minute A, sub-minute uh, A, B, C, sub-minute X and another sub-minute ABC to put in a minute A, we get a B wave, ABC. So a minute B, we're in the minute C wave. Again, not as clean as in the NASDAQ. Market bouncing all the way back up, almost to the, the high of our session, which was uh, 39.71, almost 72. It did not <clears throat> come further down. So the NASDAQ got hit harder than the S&P, and that was basically on the back of some of the 
a larger stocks. We had Goldman Sachs, we had Honeywell, we had Microsoft actually uh, was pretty much higher all day. And that kept the S&P up. So I'm, but I'm still going to say one, two, this is likely three, we get a four, come back down. Same deal. I needed to get below 39.12. We have support at that 14 level. And then uh, let me just put in some additional fibs. These bigger ones are for, let me see where those go. Uh, let me just go back out to my daily. Those are the retracements for the balance of this intermediate, wave, excuse me, yes, intermediate wave two. And those are going to come in. We've already surpassed 618. So we've got the 4,083, which is the 70 level, 70% 70 level. And we can get up higher than that, like 4,100, 4,150, depending on the intensity and the strength that we we don't know yet. Um, again, looking for the X wave to get itself below um, 3914. We do have the 20 and the 50s down below at 3871 and 3855. Those should supply pretty should supply pretty strong support to complete the C wave, put in the X wave, and then get clear the uh clear the way for the second ABC to continue. So what we're looking here, we've got our extensions. Let's see what we got for wave C. So Again, 618, I think, barely gets us below that level. And that's at 3909. So anywhere between 3900, 3909 could complete this ABC, put the X, and we're off to the races again in terms of the second ABC. And below that, we have 3897, 3886, 100% of 38.57. So all come into play depending on how hard they're going to hit the markets and what's going to be the driving force behind that. So right now, we've continued to hold above the 200 period EMA and SMA today. And the rest of the moving averages are basically sideways. The 20, the 50s, the 4, the 8, sideways. So that's why it's very flat, very slow. Low volume here in the S&P. I expect the same thing for tomorrow. And again, Wednesday would be the day where if we're going to get a larger move based on some of the economic data that will be released, Wednesday will be the day. That's really about it for right now. My expectations remain the same. We finish this X wave. We begin the next series of ABC. should be just a straight ABC. And then we will hopefully see the end of intermediate wave two and then get the start of intermediate wave three. But once again, I do feel that we're going to be over into December before this all completes. So we've got the balance of this week and probably next week where we're not going to get much movement. It's going to be very choppy sideways. All right, that's it for today. Our next update will be on Tuesday, the 22nd.